In our previous episode, we brought you highlights from the first set of conversation at the ABB Stakeholders Roundtable, Outrun with Energy Efficiency. In this concluding part, we continue the dialogue with more voices from the esteemed panelists. Lot of digitalization is already happening. So by the uh, digitalization, putting up the AI layer into it, can we make more and more intelligent uh, decisions? And that is only possible when jointly we uh, come up across and accelerate the overall process of energy efficiency movement where the ABB is a part of it, rather than one of the uh, initial founding members into it. And we are driving this movement and India is also uh, one of the playgrounds for us in the energy efficiency. So I am quite confident that unless we come up across in totality as a fraternity and act on the action points, commonly acceptable uh, agendas, I think this will, will not be possible alone. So with this, I think it is so important for us to come up across and collaborate. Energy efficiency is not just about the technology, right? It's also about the culture. And you know, for an organization, there's many ways to do this, right? How do you adopt a culture of innovation with a team? I mean, how do you adopt um, ISO 50001, for example? How do you constantly want to improve, to take the next step, and never be satisfied that I've made one step, but want to take the continuous improvement? So, I mean, continuously doing energy studies, understanding the dynamics, because there's always some element that we can improve. Nothing's ever perfect. Then it's about training and awareness. I mean, how do we really drive this within the organization? And this is not just how do we drive it at the top level, but how do we literally bring and educate the entire organization and make it a core belief of what you want to do in an organization? Because this is the game changer, right? It, if everybody is pulling in the same direction, then the, it's easier to adapt. More often than not, uh, the biggest challenge for energy efficiency is education, training, awareness for customers to understand the kind of energy saving and emission reduction opportunity that is rooted inside energy efficiency. The more they see it, the more we hope they will act on it. And I think these events really help in that regard. So if we want to enable the ecosystem, I think that along with the technology, we need to focus on financing, right. we need to focus on measurement and verification, and of course policy will always play an important role, because I truly believe that the ultimate role of policy is to fast track the adoption and development of these technologies. Nowadays we are seeing uh, people are looking at from a long term, I mean 15 years, 20 years, how much the energy is going to be uh, you know, expenditure is going to come from that particular equipment. Nowadays, that kind of uh, analysis is being done from the beginning itself before the project started. So it is, you know, it becomes very relevant and important, you know, uh, not only India, but across the across globe. As this two-part series comes to an end, one message stands out clearly. By bringing diverse stakeholders together, we can unlock collective action and chart a path toward a cleaner, more competitive future. Thank you for joining us on this journey and let's continue to take the energy efficiency movement forward.